Shiva Raksha Babaji Yog. Greetings, star guardians of the galactic angelic legion of the gold ray emanation. Today we reach the core of four days on the Mayan Zolkin calendar, the mystic void, harmonic 33. Beginning with Keen 129 Red Crystal Moon, tomorrow on the 25th during the new moon in Libra, as we reach the zero point, the exact galactic center, Hunabku, the galactic butterfly with Keen 130 White Cosmic Dog, and it's a 1313 portal. We are now quantum jumping timelines like skipping stones across a still pool of water. Our consciousness is expanding out in waves of spheres into the ends of the infinite multiverse. All is returning back to center for the final implosion and explosion as supernova beings of eternal life. The one law pulsates through the universal one mind of Buddha and through the living hearts of all star-seated ground crew of the 144. With the higher energetics flowing in from the great central sun, we have multiple codes and frequencies appearing on the Schumann charts with an amplitude spike today at 34 hertz. Fifth dimensional energetics coming in. As we continue to anchor in the galactic codes deep into the crystalline core of Pachamama, we rise through the ascension portal and merge the heavens with the earth through our sacred vessel, and bring into fruition our new heaven upon the new earth. Aho! We are receptacles of light and reflectors of truth. Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle with PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our sacred new earth scribes, so be sure to listen to the very end and Please do us a favor and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. Beloved angels of light, we have a massive uprising occurring right now in our sacred portal of Iran. And this is the goddess rising through our divine feminine angels. And remember, this was the ancient Persian Empire. These are our Persian modern men and women of the new earth. And the Divine Goddess rises up through the power of the Mother, of the Goddess, of the Priestess that is rising all over this realm to step into her Divine Queendom and our Kingdom as one under the Most High God in Heaven as a, is on Earth. So we send our prayers, our blessings, our courage and our strength to our Earth Angels in Iran and all over this realm that are rising up against the tyranny and the torture of our peoples, our tribes, our rainbow tribes of the new earth. So thank you all that have come here to join us on this great mission of the great awakening, victory to the light. And now we continue with the Sabian symbols. Right now the moon is at 23 degrees, 23 minutes Virgo. 5 5 portal, 5th dimensional energies descending onto this great Mother Earth. And the Sun is at 2 degrees, 6 minutes Libra. The current Sabian symbol for the Sun at 3 degrees Libra. A dawn of a new day reveals everything changed. And the current Sabian symbol for the Moon at 24 degrees Virgo. Mary and her white lamb from astrologyweekly.com. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Jennifer Catron, 333, Christed codes pouring in, anchored in the field. When we fully surrender to what has always been, there's no words. It's just frequency. Energy returns. Based on choice points, manifestation is the third energy, father, mother, holy child, once embodied, next parallel universe. I bow in reverence, dragon energy, lyran aspects here to assist with what no longer resonates, heaven we never left. And from Divine Sistar of Delight, Ali Ray, don't be afraid, be comfortable in the unknown, that's where all the magic is, 
Love is, love is, love is. God is, God is, God is. And from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Sophie Gregoire, a new beginning is there, a fresh start. It could be about your love life, career, or mission. You could also be coming back to projects, ideas of a few weeks, months ago, with a renewed perspective or even stronger conviction. Listen to the intuitive messages you are receiving. They are leading you towards a reopening, a newfound equilibrium in your life. A beautiful love energy is entering your heart too. A sense of harmony, of fluidity is finding you as for important relationships. Notice the connections which feel precious, central, and feel truly soul aligned at the moment. Water these bonds. The give and receive is about to flow beautifully in your life. From SophieGregoire.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Judith Kusel. A massive portal is opened here about one hour ago as the crystal pyramids are fully activated and much higher octaves now for the first time since Elysium and the Lion Kingdom. The sun disks have been reactivated to the fullest. Liquid golden energy is pulsating as massive dark energy was and is being released. This is seventh dimensional energy and massive and intense. Huge shifts and changes will occur as this energy is alchemizing all and everything. From JudithKusel.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Victoria Liljenquist. Special message from Victoria. Beloved family, how are you feeling? Many layers of our old selves are falling away. Those who are empathing the Earth's mantle at the equator as it is readjusting are required to navigate delicately through this process. We made a promise to serve as tuning forks for Blessed Mother Gaia. At times it can be uncomfortable and painful, yet we understand. We agreed to be strong, to stabilize this magnificent time for humanity. Alleluia! We remain in grace and gratitude. Yes, there are ups and some moments of challenge. We are not alone in this. We are one in this labor process of rebirth. We know within our divine self the rewards of graduating are gradually bleeding into our new reality, embracing us. Indeed, we celebrate our leap to our new octave, remain patient, trusting this process, remembering we are the children of the universe. We are loved. We support each other. We are victorious. The divine plan is here. Go inside yourself. You will understand. Yeshua, Jesus Christ, with blessed Divine Mother Mary are with us. My love and blessings to you all, Andromedan Commander Victoria Lillianquist. From VictoriasLight.com 8-8 eight, eight, Lion's Gate energy flowing in of our Lyran nation, our felines, our cat people, our lion nations of the new Lemuria. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Elizabeth Peru. Are you feeling stirred within? Dear Cosmic Community this weekend, are you feeling a call to step away from the material world and its seeming concerns? Are you seeking the love and much needed understanding at the depth of your soul? Over the past week since Neptune's opposition to the sun, you may have noticed a stirring within. The darker, often hidden personality aspects have arisen within yourself and others. It's natural when you shed your past and let go of what's been that you can feel a loss. Even if that loss is for your betterment, you can still feel pain associated with saying goodbye to a part of you that you poured so much focus and attention into. A tipping point of 2022 is coming. From ElizabethPeru.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Jiz Baez. Much is talked about this date and is that energetically if we are talking about taking a very important quantum leap for planetary ascension. Leaps that we can never reach to blur until which timeline will direct us. From today onward and all that divinity wants us to manifest is our true essence. We expand that purity of our souls fully by allowing us to experience these events. 
regardless of the origin of them, without judgment, without fear, without surprise, only marveling as it all happens, loving deeply each manifestation of life itself, saying goodbye with love and gratitude for all the learning and wisdom acquired in all our incarnations, surrendering to the divine plan and complete faith and hope, vibrating love and compassion to others. We are going through the information age. It is important to listen to our heart to discern. If today all that accumulation of information, those truths and lies stirred, make you feel insecure on earth, I ask that today you give a moment to send a request to God, universe, source, how you resonate. I ask you to light a candle and pure intentions and feelings and thoughts in it. Imagine that candlelight is planet earth. Give love, imagine that free and fair world we deserve. Visualize that new humanity is free and sovereign. Declare all are free from bondage. Activate your primal power as a child of light. Declare it is done, the miracles you expect. Transmute hatred of humanity for unconditional brotherly love. Intend and deposit all that pure heart love in that candle and light it with all your faith. If everything that happens on the planet lately activates a need to do something to help, the best way is this. Sending light and love. We have been asked when we incarnate here, bring the sky down to earth, integrate it into your being, anchor the earth to heaven, and ascend with it. If hearing this makes your heart vibrate, most likely you are of the souls that covenant serve humanity in times of tribulation. Being an anchor of light, recognize, accept, spread love. At some point we were banished from Eden. We have integrated the polarity. We brought it back. Children of the sun, we rejoice. Flowers of life activated on earth, divine masculine and divine feminine. Welcome to Eden. 144.441 Spot on, Baez. And from divine sister of the light, Aurora Ray. Welcome to the divine new earth, an introduction to the changes and transitions. We are transforming into new human beings of light. Welcome to the new earth. This post is a guide for all of you who are experiencing your physical, earthbound lives from a slightly higher perspective. As our divine spirits have incarnated here on this planet to learn and grow, we are now transitioning into being all that we truly are divine beings of light who will be living out eternity here in the physical with others like us. Though it may seem at times that things are dire on this planet, know that millions of us have been working for centuries to bring about these changes. What you may view as bad in your life are areas where you need to learn to detach from limiting beliefs. These experiences are helping to make way for this new era where we will transcend the physical limitations of our current existence as humans in linear time and space. It can be hard to understand how things work at this level, but all is well and moving perfectly according to plan. A lot is going on at the moment with everyone and everything around us. As we collectively embrace the changes happening all across our planet, it's important to remember that each of us is part of a greater whole. It's easy to get caught up in how we're feeling as individuals or small groups, so now more than ever, we need to keep a broad perspective on what's really going on here. Labeling this era with terms like apocalypse or rebirth, while they might be apt descriptions of certain aspects, can also make things too confusing. The reality is that we're changing and shifting into new beings, right along with everything else around us. Some spiritual traditions have referred to this process as transcending the physical realm, entering into higher dimensions, or vibrating into another frequency of existence. But no matter what you call it, each of these shifts has been taking place from the beginning of time until now, and will continue into perpetuity. What better way for us human beings to become accustomed to this major transition than to welcome it? In fact, I'd argue that welcoming these changes is essential for our survival as a species. It isn't just about surviving. We're also thriving during this time. 
Surviving physically sucks compared with thriving on all levels. Emotionally, mentally, physically, spiritually, energetically, you get the picture. Our four kingdoms, plant, animal, mineral, and human, are being energized and brought back into alignment through these phases. If you've had any intuitive nudges lately about your purpose in life, or even if you haven't, know that they are coming from your soul self as it awakens within your current body and mindset. This is an exciting time. The only real question is whether you'll fall back asleep or stay conscious enough to enjoy yourself while experiencing a grandiose shift in consciousness firsthand, complete with both its ups and downs. So welcome to being human again. Everything is changing and transforming, and you're in the middle of all of it. Whether you realize it or not, your life has started to transform as your physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual dimensions are moving into a higher dimension. Earth is ascending into the fifth dimension of light and love. The good news is that these changes are only for the better because we've been at this point before many times throughout history. For example, Jesus ascended into heaven 2,000 years ago to raise our vibrations, to move us forward even further. Humans were only in the third dimension then. Nothing bad will happen. Everything that's happening now will make things better than they were before. I know this sounds crazy and unbelievable because people have been changing their lives drastically with my guidance for so long now that they don't even notice how different their lives are from a few years ago. Their lives keep getting better every day. That's why I'm writing this post so you can get ready for what's coming next and prepare yourself mentally, emotionally, physically, and spiritually. The truth is we are entering a whole new paradigm. It is not so much a new world as it is a golden grid. The golden grid has been here waiting for you, but the consciousness of some people cannot attain it because their hearts were closed to it. As the ego swells and rages, you will continue to see ever greater possibilities opening up before you. Many of them seem unbelievable to the human mind that is still caught in the old paradigm. We are almost there now. Like a child waking on Christmas morning, each new day will be even more wondrous than the last. We love you dearly. We are here with you. We are your family of light. Aho, Aurora Ray, Ambassador of the Galactic Federation, from thegalacticfederation.com. From Blue Rose Oracles, as the veils are thinning between realms and dimensions, we are called to honor the ancestral wisdom held within our sacred cosmic DNA. Our blood flows in deep synchronicity and harmony with the universe. The deep vibratory hum of our ancestors courses through our veins, chanting, vibrating, and downloading deep sacred mysteries and wisdom accumulated through karmic cycles, timelines, and many incarnations. We are gifted the expansion and extension of our sensory awareness whilst the veils are thinning. The opportunity to open and receive the deep inlaid mysteries residing within our body of bone and blood so that we may integrate gifts held within the ancestral realm, within our energy field, and forge a deeper awareness of our connection to the external and internal universe in order to activate the deep ancient well of primal inner knowledge, sacred, sensual, mysterious, and expand our intuitive senses through reconnecting with our ancestors and recognizing our own role as guides and ancestors through our multidimensionality. Today marks a turning point within the seasonal shift of energetic frequency upon Gaia and holds echoes of the ancestors who honored these seasonal and energetic shifts imprinting and co-creating with the universe to open gateways which held sacred space for the ancestral realm to reconnect with the physical realm. We are remembering, reawakening and reconnecting with the magical intuitive realms of creation, drawing forth the ancient tribal medicine brought into being by shape-shifting, multidimensional gatekeepers of our ancestral line across the oceans of time. Light codes are streaming through the portals which are opening today so that we may continue to integrate the template upgrades required for the next wave of awakening. 
You are the doorway and the key to accessing, honoring, downloading, and integrating the sacred mysteries, wisdom, and tribal medicine held within the collective field of ancestral consciousness. We open to receive through our physical vessel, extend our sensory awareness to connect at a deeper, ancient, primal level of inner consciousness within. Transcend the limitations of your own shadows and release all density, fears, and connections which no longer fall into alignment with the divine sovereign being that you are, recognizing and allowing yourself to embody. Shed the scripts of duality, separation, and disempowerment. Integrate the deep inner mysteries, sacred wisdom, and ancestral medicine awaiting you. Embrace the songs of the ancestral realm rising as an orchestral vibration within your blood and bones. Give voice to magic within and create sacred space to transmute and transcend all past wounding. You are the key. You are love. You are loved. 1111 Gateway Activation in this now. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Karen Lithica new earth portals for your world is shifting morphing changing awakening connecting to the crystalline grid of light we come today to share a message from the plant kingdom for their role is significant in your world to feel their presence all around you awaken to their multi-dimensional role the silent sleepers of light who amplify their own crystalline light grid their own crystalline light story the evolutionary light to find rest and solitude in the crystalline light of plants, to realize their light intelligence is a reservoir of light for humanity. The plant kingdom is inviting humanity to rest and awaken to their crystalline ways of light, for the new earth frequencies are expanding, enabling humanity to reach new levels of perception with the crystalline grid of Gaia. No attunement is available through the plant kingdom to assist you in awakening to the higher consciousness of light. Simply sit and be, follow your crystalline light awareness. Hold a leaf and enter the new earth. As we expand our awareness of light and all beings, with love for your journey, the plant kingdom, and Karen from KarenLithica.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Debbie Edwards. Here we go, it's down to the wire now. We just entered Libra season and the moon has now gone into Virgo. Tomorrow we will welcome in the energies of the new moon in Libra. Anyone who felt scattered over the past few weeks should feel relieved to find much more focus and attention towards things that need it. With that said, we might also take a bit too long in making up our mind about things and get frustrated. If we stick it out and don't throw in the towel, we can accomplish a lot. We are now in the last quarter of the 2022 year. This year has taught us immeasurable things, especially about ourselves. We are stronger in so many ways, we just have to remind ourselves of that during times that challenge our patience. Take heed. Remember we still have many retrogrades plowing through the cosmos, but that too is almost over. Soon we are going to see each planet one by one station direct. I feel good about the holidays. I believe by the time Christmas arrives, we'll be feeling pretty hopeful about the 2023 year. From Metavisionaries.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Leah Whitehorse. Venus and Virgo opposite Neptune retrograde in Pisces. A romantic haze colors the day. Maybe a person or situation seems perfect, but under this influence we see what we want to see. When it comes to investing your money or your heart, anchor yourself in reality. Let go of high expectations and ideals that only lead to a disappointment. You don't have to be perfect to be loved or beautiful. Don't allow boundaries to blur. Guard against sacrificing everything for the sake of a mirage. Cautions aside, this is a lovely influence for creativity and soul work. We can draw inspiration now from the ether. Immerse yourself in art, poetry, spiritual works, music. Lose yourself in the delicate beauty of a flower to experience transcendence. Open your heart to unconditional love. Be uplifted by what is possible rather than deflated by what is impossible. 
from leahwhitehorse.com. And from 13 Moon Peace Time, as of today, this Keen 129, we entered the mystic void of Harmonic 33, Keens 129 through Keen 132. We are right at the core of the Zolkin module, transiting the mystic void Harmonic 33 for a period of four days, Keen 129, 130, 131, and 132. These can be days of great opportunity to tune in to align and synchronize your intentions with the heart of the cosmos, the heart of the galaxy, the heart of the sun, and the heart of the earth, and become one with the pulse of creation. What is the message that your heart is whispering to your ears? The cosmos speaks in symbols, a time for all to surrender our will to the highest will by placing our egos out of the way. A time for becoming genuine humans of non-ego, destined to evolve into biosolar telepaths, attuned to a higher reality based on principles of pure harmonic resonance. What is the message that our collective cosmic human heart is pumping through our veins and loudly whispering to our ears? Tune in and find out. From 13moonpeacetime.com Today from the Zolkin Times, Keen 129, Red Crystal Moon. Crystal is the name for the number 12 and its keywords are dedicate, cooperate, and universalize. This sociable energy reminds us that working in a team can yield results and more importantly, we are all in this together. Cooperate with one another today instead of continuing the struggle on your own. Today we are reminded to think of community and to be dedicated to one another. Today is the red moon which represents universal water, purify and flow. Red moon days are very powerful and therefore resistance is futile. All we can do is go with and trust that things will turn out okay. As it is a crystal day, getting together with others to relax is the ideal thing to do. Purification is also a key characteristic of the moon and this means that on moon days it's great to be reminded to purify your space and your mind light some sage and clear the energy in your home take a bath or go swimming and drink plenty of water it is also a great time to visit the seaside or watch the moon rise when we go through a purifying process that leads to better flow in our lives and today from divine sister of the light christina papa giorgio Red Crystal Moon, 12 Maluk, Keen 129, 24th of September 2022, flowing cooperatively. 24 9 2022 equals 696, equals 615, equals 66, equal 12, equal 3, 696 Divine Destiny Portal, 66 Heaven's Gate. Day codes 24 Charisma, Magnetism, Joy. 6. Heaven, Christ, Family, Romance, Fertility. 12. Acquiring Strength, Wisdom. 3. Holy Trinity, Joy, Creativity. Month Year Codes. 9. Completion, Service, Destiny, Divine, Humanity, Grace. 15. Spiritual Alchemy, Charisma, Magnetism. 6. 20. The Awakening, Clear Vision. 22. Architect of Peace, Master Builder. Keen 129 equal 12 equal 3, Holy Trinity, Joy, Creativity. Crystal Tone 12 equals 3. Keen 129 holds a double 3 code. 3 plus 3 equals 6. Heaven, Christ, Consciousness, Harmony, Love, Romance. Daily total equal 12. 3 Keen 129 equal 3. Crystal Tone equal 12 equal 3. Giving us a 333 triple divinity code. Today is a very holy divine day, enabling our pristine, purified, new 5D earth to flow into our reality. A brilliant coding following yesterday's equinox reset. Another divine destiny day to liberate our new cooperative 5D flow. Day 12 in the white mirror wave spell of reflection, truth, illusion, endlessness, and magnification. Our second to the last day in this current cycle of discovering our true diamond essence before we embark on the monkey regenesis of celebrating our reclaimed innocence. Today is a day for community where we connect with others through a shared truth. 
using our pure minds to birth a better, more compassionate world for all. Alleluia. Tone of creation, crystal tone 12 in the mental realm. Action universalizes. Power dedicates. Essence cooperation. The crystal tone 12 is the highest level of the mind, the mental realm. Yesterday we focused on dissolving and releasing our core fears and emotional blocks to claiming our freedom and liberating our beauty. We dissolved all blocks to discordant relationships so that we can now unite harmonically in the new time. At the crystal level of mind we have the capacity to cooperate or operate with other minds. Just as a crystal can be programmed, so too can we program our minds on this day. Focus on the crystal clarity of our minds today through the power of cooperation with others. Thus we create telepathic links in our communication grids, allowing for cooperative thoughts, ideas, and inspiration to flow. A day of greater connection to each other and Mother Gaia. Planetary Service Today is a brilliant day to do ritual, healing, grid work, and water cleansing, ceremonies of any kind, honoring Pachamama, especially if it involves our crystal allies and gifting crystals to the waters or earth, blessings of the waters and assisting in purification of our oceans, lakes, and waterways, which are the lifeblood of Mother Gaia and humanity, is also highly desirable. Visualize Mother Gaia's crystalline grid flowing freely, with great clarity connecting all like-minded kin, purifying and upgrading our planetary mind as we all flow together, merrily, 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 down the stream, join together with all our planetary kin through our pure minds to nurture this new 5D consciousness being birthed. Today's question is how can we purify our collective mind? in order to unite and flow together as one family, co-creating and birthing a pristine, new compassionate earth. Divine blessings for birthing our pure collective new 5D consciousness on this holy divine day. Our new world is here now. In la catch a la keen. Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66. Keen 129, Red Crystal Moon, the mantra the code for today is, I dedicate in order to purify, universalizing flow. I seal the process of universal water with the crystal tone of cooperation. I am guided by the power of birth. And on this powerful day of activations, transformations, and manifestations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below, what you feel, what you're seeing, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions, and we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. Because of your monthly pledges and donations, we're able to continue this work. So if you'd like to help support us, our work, this channel, and help us continue bringing these transmissions and teachings to the world daily, you can make a monthly pledge to our Patreon page at whitegoldeagle.com. I'd like to thank Divine Sistar of the Light, Suzanne Allers, for another donation. Thank you, Divine Sistar. We appreciate you and your continued support. We appreciate all of you that continue to support us in this work and mission. If you'd like to support us with a one-time donation, you could do so to our PayPal account at egolovecondor.com. Now I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condors artwork. You could purchase our beautiful handmade goddess totems, zodiac goddesses, healing jewelry, and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. Now we're going to complete today's transmissions with powerful code and divine decree from Divine Sistar of the Light Sandra Walter. Quite the jump in frequency this week. Higher choices keep presenting for our collective experience. There is excitement in the air and a bit of collective anxiety as we raise the light level and blast open the doors of infinite possibility. We have two more factors adding to the potency of this week. 
the new moon on Sunday tomorrow at 2.54 p.m. PDT, a good moment to evaluate choices, release what does not support your realm choice, and begin new practices or creations that add light to your desired outcome. Stargate alignment and influx September 25th through the 29th, Gate and grid keepers co-create with cosmic waves, solar influxes, magnetic shifts, and assist with the amplification of the infinite Christ field. Expect to feel this influx on the physical, mental, and emotional bodies. This provides a strong disruption of lower realms alongside the amplification of the crystalline heart. Remember, we don't limit change out of fear. We encourage positive transformation at all levels. Sometimes it gets bumpy or intense. Gaze from the higher perspective with the eyes of divine neutrality. Then take action on the most freeing choice. As mentioned in last week's presence, the timeline experience doesn't apply as we match the frequency of the crystalline realms. No more timelines. We experience time-space flowing through us and it becomes a pliable, effective tool for shifting realms. Guidance on choice points, realm shifting, and the new field. And now for the divine decree. I qualify and infuse all emanations, creations, and perspective with the mighty light rays radiating from the crystal and stargate of my heart. I am an open conduit of the divine. I release the living love light of source to all of creation. From ascensionpath.com Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful, blessed, and sacred new moon in Libra tomorrow, and powerful alignment with the zero point, the core, the heart of the Zolkin, direct center, the cosmic core, the galactic center of the Milky Way, Hunab Ku, our galactic butterfly, as we spread our wings and take flight into the freedom of the new heaven upon the new earth. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step, and keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.